Good afternoon, Penticton Vineyard Church, family, friends, community. I miss hanging out with you all, and it is time for the weekly update. And yes, I know I'm one day late. Um, yesterday was a full um, day for me and uh, working, and so I just I didn't get an opportunity to finish the video, but here we are now. And so I just want to take a quick minute um, and just share something that God was speaking to me, was showing me this morning, but really over the last seven, eight weeks. And it just kind of started unpacking more. And so, um, which I love, isn't that like scripture? We read something once, twice, three times, a hundred times, and we go, wow, look at Jesus here. And I love scripture. Um, I love that about that. And it talks about that in Ephesians 1.18. It says, I pray that the eyes of your heart would be enlightened to the hope to which God has called you for. And so I just want, I want my eyes enlightened to everything that God has for me. And, and so this morning, um, I was reading and praying through Philippians 1. Um, actually, I was going to go through a number of the verses again. And I've been praying this passage lots personally and for the church. And, and I just got stuck. Philippians 4.1, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Um, you know, and interesting enough, this morning I was uh, driving down Carmi from my house down to the church and get in the car. It's a gray. It's gray. It's overcast. I sit down in my car and go, man, this just reminds me of the lower mainland. It's just rain and rain and rain and rain and gray, gray, gray. I get in my office, sit down. I look out my window and I'm like, it's gray and overcast, gray and overcast. And, and I was like, what am I seeing? What am I seeing? And how is it dictating you know, my joy and my happiness. And yeah, and gray overcast certainly plays into our mental health and different things. But, um, you know, and that is a that is a real point here. But God suddenly just spoke with me and he goes, I, I want you to rejoice in the Lord when sometimes your eyes maybe aren't enjoying what you're seeing. There's joy that is on the inside for you that is beyond always what you can see. You know, and I love, you know, I have a, a family and a great church community here and friends, and I, and I love rejoicing and finding, finding life in there. But God goes, I, I, wanna, I wanna meet you on the inside. Rejoice in the Lord. And so I started thinking about in the Lord. And when I started thinking about in the Lord, I was like, man, there's lots to rejoice in the Lord, even when I'm staring out at rain and gray and the situation of, of isolation and being apart and this virus. I said, even despite that in the Lord, there is great joy to be had. And, um, you know, and it, and it talks about finding great pleasure and great delight in the Lord. And so I just sat there and go, God, I want to find great delight in you, great delight in you, you know, and, and, and I was just challenged, you know, this internal intensity just started stirring in my heart. And God goes, I want to show myself to you and that you would rejoice in the Lord, even though your outer circumstances might not dictate rejoicing. He goes, I am enough to rejoice. And so I was, I just, was sitting there with Jesus rejoicing, even though it was raining and the circumstances are going on around us. It's not the best situation, but I go, it is the best because I can rejoice in the Lord. And so I would encourage you today just to sit down with Jesus and go, God, I want to rejoice with you in the Lord. Discover you, what you have for me, despite challenges and harder situations that are going on. I want to rejoice in the Lord. And so that was just something that um, struck me this morning by a passage I've been reading quite, quite a lot over the last seven, eight, nine weeks. And God goes, now I want you to see, rejoice in me. Come and hang out with me and don't let your, your circumstances dictate your joy. Come and be with me. And so it was just, just a little encouragement, I hope. Um, a couple other things I want to share. Um, uh, this past Sunday, we were talking about um, want to help, looking for help. And so, um, and we just said, hey, if you are able to help us or help other people in this season, or if you need help in this season, uh, we want to walk together at this time. And so we had a number of people um, message the church saying, hey, I would love to help, whether it is, 
you know, some practical things of shopping or maybe cleaning. Um, I would love to pray for people. I'd love to connect with people. And so we have had a number of people sign up. And I say, we need more from the body. Say, hey, I want to help. Also, um, if you are in need, you know, whether you are in need social, you need to talk to somebody. We're trying to reach out. But if we haven't reached you yet, please, you know, if you go to the website, there's a help banner. If you click on it and fill it, somebody will reach out. If you need help financially, please reach out to us. If you need prayer, please reach out and we will reach back and we want to walk this season together. You are not alone. We are we are not designed to do life alone. And so although we are part, we're trying to connect in this in this online way as it is to walk this together. And so we want to help people. We want to be the body together. And so if you are in need, um, if you go to the website, if you contact the office, um, we would love to walk with you in, in life and where you're at right now. The second thing is, um, this Sunday, it's Mother's Day. We love our moms. Um, you know, and this and this will be a harder Mother's Day, seeing as we're apart, some families won't be able to get together. Um, as a church, we won't be able to get together in the way we would like to to celebrate our moms. But um, we are celebrating moms, where God meets mothers. And so this Sunday, um, Jocelyn's going to be speaking about where God um, meets mothers. And we uh, want to celebrate and we want to honor as best we can. And so we encourage moms um, you know, after you have breakfast in bed or however people will celebrate you if you have families. Um, hopefully, if, if you're alone, you'll be able to connect with other people to celebrate you. Um, we just want to, on Sunday, be able to celebrate and honor you, even though we are apart. So please come on out this Sunday um, and, let, and let's look at how, um, where God meets mothers together. And the last thing is, in yesterday, I was, I was praying and I was just looking through Psalms 54, and it's a psalm where David is in uh, lots of trouble. He's being pursued by Saul, and he's hiding in this cave. And in Psalms 54, 4, it says, Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. And I just love that. Surely this David is on the run. People, There's 3,000 assassins trying to kill him, and he goes, Surely God is my help. He's the one who will sustain me. And I just want to pray this, this verse over us, just as we are in a time where we need help and we need the sustaining ability of, of God the Father to us. And so, God, we, we just say these words out. Surely God is our help. Surely, God, you are our help and you will sustain us. And right now I ask Jesus that you would come and sustain our body come and sustain our families as we go through um, this virus time, as this challenge of being apart. Come and sustain us physically, emotionally, spiritually, Jesus, socially, financially, and always come and sustain us, God. And we, we just declare you are our help, you are our source, and you are our life. And we trust you, we trust you, and you are enough. Surely, God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains us. So I hope you find encouragement. I find, hope you find rest. And I hope you find peace in this place that God is our help and he will sustain us as we're going through challenging times. And that you would find rejoicing and delight in the Lord. Thank you for, uh, for continuing to walk with us. I know it's, uh, there's some challenges, but we are fighting to grow and to be together. Bless you, family. Bless you, church. Um, we will be together soon. We will, we will. Take care, and we will see you guys on Sunday. Bye.